Work is done, the sun is down, kids are asleep. I got the kitchen to myself. Perfect time to cook. Hello and welcome to Kitchen After Dark. I am your host, Clinton Hazel Jr. And tonight we are making tortillas. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so, so good. It's so good. Mm. So my family loves Taco Tuesdays. It is like a thing in our house, right? Uh, and it was one time I was, I made everything. I made the meat, taco meat. I cut up the salsa, we had guacamole. I, I pulled out the sour cream, everything was set, but I forgot the tortillas. It, it, was, it was just an oversight, I forgot to get them from the store. I got everything else, but I didn't have uh, tortillas. I was about to run back out to the store, even though everything was ready, and my wife was like, why don't you just try and make it yourself? Why are you, why are you going to the store? Why are you spending money? It's like, all right, cool, I'll, I'll, I'll try, I'll, you know, whatever. I, this, this is before I was a baker and all that stuff. Um, so I was like, I'll try it. And it was actually good. I found a great recipe and it was pretty easy. To, it's a real simple recipe. It's only like five ingredients. It's perfect. So, uh, I made it and the taste is amazing. It is amazing. I'm, I'm, it, there's no short change in the palate. It is amazing. And I'm telling you, you can do it. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm, I'm just telling you, there's no fanciness in here. If I could do it, you could do it. Let's make it happen. So now let's talk ingredients. Um, we're doing flour tortillas today and it's gonna yield about 16. So you're gonna need uh, about three cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, a third of a cup of vegetable oil and one cup of warm water. Uh, and it's a real simple recipe. You'll love it, trust me. So, now we have our ingredients. All right, let's just mix it all together. First, we're gonna put our uh, flour in. That's three cups of flour, uh, a teaspoon of um, baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a third of a cup of vegetable oil. Now, when I put my warm water in, you're gonna see the reaction that's happening. Uh, you're gonna see a little bit of that baking powder just fizzle a little bit and it looks nice. So I'm just gonna, uh, it's a little warm, so I'm not gonna put my hands into it yet, but I'm gonna mix it around. Let me move this out the way. Uh, I'm gonna mix it around, mix it around. You know, it's gonna all start to come together. It's gonna all start to mix and become one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's all coming together. It's gonna be a little uh, uh, flaky at first, but as you mix it together, it's gonna come and join. Actually, I think it's time for me to put my hands into this. All right, let's see. There we go, yeah. There we go, let's see. Uh, yeah, need that though. Come on, you gotta put it together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Smash it down. It's gonna get sticky on your hands. You gotta keep kneading until it's not sticky on your hands anymore. Until it's all just in one big lump. All right. Now that the dough's packed together, you want to cut it up into 16 even pieces and then roll it out really thin, almost like paper thin. You can almost see through it.
glass on the stove, let's you and I chat. Um, I like home cooked meals. They're, they're delicious. Uh, and I want home cooked meals for my family. I grew up with home cooked meals. My mother and my sisters used to make home cooked dinners every night. And then when I got old enough, I made myself home cooked meals every night. But working full time is, is, is very difficult. You know, you're working to five, you get home at six, you try to have some fun with the kids before they have to go to bath and bed and all that stuff. So what, what I started doing was making dinner at night. Uh, or meals at night or baking at night that uh, allowed me the free time in order to do this. So this is why I'm here. This is why I'm making this show because one, this is my peace moment. This is, uh, you, you hear that? It's quiet. This is, this is perfect time. Um, and two, it provides me the opportunity to give my kids what I had growing up, which was a home cooked meal. Um, and not just eating fast food or, or processed food all the time. So uh, this is why I do it. This is what gets me hyped. This is what calms me down. This is what juices me up uh, during the week. So um, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. We can chat. We can talk. We can be familiar. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, now we really do have to check on... The stove is probably burning, but we don't want to burn. If it burns, it happens. Things like that happen. All right, let's get it going. This one's a little. Is it cooking? Uh, you see that? You see those bubbles starting to form? That's what you're going to get when you start to cook these. Now, I think it's a little bit time to flip it over. Ah, yeah, that is pretty on that side. Look how brown and crispy that is. Oh, it's going to blow up like a balloon. You could try to hold it down. You don't want to pop it because that's going to put a hole in it. But this is like a, this one uh, really, really blew up. This is why you want to get them as thin as possible so that they can, they don't have too much air in them to start blowing up. This one was a little thick. See, sometimes you got to see the mistakes so you can do it right. Here we go, take that one out. Put the next one in. There we go. This one's a little messed up over here. And it's got a hole. There's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my tortilla. Uh, those bubbles are coming back. It's really real sign that it's actually cooking. Uh, now you don't want to leave it too long like that. You just got to judge it. You're going to see the edges maybe uh, get a little crispy. Get a little crispy. Now it's really starting to bubble. I think I'm going to turn it over now. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful brown. They say ain't no perfect color brown, but that one look pretty perfect to me. <laughs> Sorry, that's one of my voices. Voices! So, wow, that was amazing. And they look amazing. Wait, let me, let me grab one. This one right here. Oh, oh, oh. oh a, come on, I'm gonna get a little closer. My mouth is warm. You know, drooling and everything, huh? Mmm, mmm. Hey, you taste it. Mmm, mmm. That is good. That is really good. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. This is good. Mm hmm. Mm, I can eat it just like this. I know you can't understand me, but man, man, this is a winner. And I even got a little, still got a little flour on me from the whole thing, but 
uh, you know, that happens with cooking. But thank you. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. If you really like what we did, you know, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to see more videos, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, until then, I'm Clinton Hazel Jr. And this is Kitchen After Dark.